Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today, we have the Civivi Pintail. This is one that I'm quite impressed with. Actually, to explain how it got this, Civivi sent me a mess of stuff. Uh, I got like seven or eight knives for them. There's an unboxing video of that, of Civivi's Wii's and Sun Cuts. And I'm a little late on this one, so I kind of wanted to push it towards the front of the line anyway, but then I actually handled it and used it. And yeah, it was. I, I want to get a review of this one out. This thing is awesome, and it's a bit of a departure for, for Civivi, at least in one way. This is a S35VN, which you don't normally see in a Civivi. That's reserved for, like, you know, the Wii level stuff. And still, it's only $83.30. $83.30, which is not too bad at all for what you're getting. This is the Brown My Carter version. There is also, let me look here to make sure I don't miss any of them. There's a green micarta with a darkened blade. There is an olive micarta. There is a wood-handled one. I'm not even going to attempt to describe the wood with a Damascus blade, which I know their Damascus is usually primarily 9CR18. And then there's also a carbon fiber with the Damascus blade. Um, all of them are 8330. So whichever one you choose. Um, yeah, and they're still still mostly available, which is a, some, some not often rare for CVV, but sometimes new CVV models just, you know, they do, they do sell out pretty quick. Not often rare. That makes no sense, Brian, but it's in there. Let's move on. I hope you got the gist of what I was saying. Hope you were picking up what I was putting down very, very awkwardly. So let's do some specs and some size comparisons before we get too much farther. This is not a horribly huge knife. You have a blade length of three inches, so it's going to be legal lots of places. Overall length of seven inches. Blade thickness, very thin, 0 0.10 inches. Handle thickness, also fairly thin, 0 0.46 inches. And a weight of 2.76 ounces, which they get the golf clap because that's what they claim, and that's exactly what it weighed on my scale. So the size comparisons. We are in the midst of uh, rotating some spider Spydercos, so no PM2 today. We have the Manix 2 in its stead, and the Para 3. You can see, same blade length, but a little bit smaller package than the Para 3. And we will grab our usual Benchmades. We have the full-size Griptilian and the full-size bug out. So yeah, smaller than either of those. And then we'll bring out a uh, bring out a couple of Civivis, bring out some of its uh some of its brethren. We have the Elementum, which I think is might be the most popular Civivi right now. They've made so many variants of it. I think it's probably one that's out in circulation the most. It used to be like the Backlash or something, but man, I think I don't know sales numbers, but I think uh, I think it might have surpassed it. And the Ortis, our under a hundred dollar budget knife of the year. So, uh, um, yeah, smaller than any of those, but we'll get with ergonomics and stuff. It's not it's not that tiny, honestly. So, in the hand, anyway. Let's talk more about this individual. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more size comparison. This is kind of a preview of a video I'm going to do later this week. I am going to do a battle to the death involving this and another knife. Um, but it's going to lose. But that's kind of the intention. This is the uh, alternatives to waiting for a TRM Neutron. So I know everybody wants a Neutron 2 and they're hard to get. Uh, so let's just put it up against the Neutron 2. I'm going to try and provide, so this was inspired by an email I got from uh, from a viewer, uh, but compare it against some, some alternatives to buy instead of the Neutron while you wait for your chance to get a Neutron too. So uh, I, I get accused of overhyping TRM, so I'm going to give you some alternatives that will hold you over. This and a, the, the Kaiser Gemini Micarta. So we're going to do a little comparison between the three and recommend what my budget option is while you're waiting. This is going to be on there, so... Look for that later this week. It's it's gonna lose, but you want to see who does the best of the other two. So uh, it's a it'll be a fun video. Just trust me. Little teaser there. All right, let's talk more about this knife. The blade, as I said, S thirty five VN Civivi slash We has always done a really good job with that. I guess We. This is the first S thirty five VN Civivi that I recall. Very very thin, and as usual, 
very thin behind the edge. Nice hollow grind, 15 thousandths behind the edge, which is almost kind of moderate for a Civivi. Some of them are down to like 13. The most you ever see is usually like 17, so it's kind of in the middle. Uh, but man, this thing slices absolutely for certain. And again, S35VN, no complaints there. It's got some little swoopy features, but if you kind of ignore those, it's still basically kind of a simple drop point. It has that nice big swedge on the top, but and it's also got a good little poony bit for your finger to land. I by no means call this a harpoon, but it does have that little swoop there. Ergonomically, this is really, really good for the size that it is. Large size gloves, skinny fingers. I can still get all four fingers on it, just barely, uh, but I definitely can. And the pocket clip placement is nigh on perfect for my hands. You can see where it lands. It just lands right there in the, as I like to call it, the crotch of my palm, which makes no sense, but that, that's just what I refer to as. And great place for your finger to land while it's jimping. Again, you can choke up a little bit if you want to. Um, it, it's, yeah, it goes pretty, pretty darn good. How does it carry, one may ask? Let me grab, uh, you know, Levi's. Not too bad. I mean, it, the weight on it is it's under that ounce per inch. It's I wouldn't call it like, you know, crazy light or anything like that, uh, but it's not too bad. Nice deep carry clip as usual from Civivi. And I'll take this back out again. Uh, you do have recessed screws, not a recessed clip though, uh, but it is right hand, left hand. So, so know that. Uh, the pocket clip tension on this one's a little tight, but I think it's just a tolerance thing. It's not horrible. And you're sliding on that nice micarta, so it's not too bad. Um, the flipper tab, it's there, but it's not obtrusive. It carries pretty good. It's not like a mind-blowingly amazing thing to carry, but, but it's pretty darn good. Now, as far as the action goes, I, I know I always say it, it's a catchphrase most here. It's a Civivi. Detent is awesome. This is an extremely lightweight blade, so it's... It does run on ceramic bearings, all that stuff. It's not as drop shutty. Got to give it a little flick, but that's just physics. And I have not taken this one apart. So it, maybe it would get a little bit better, but I don't think this is a knife that you're going to wind up being just, you know, rotate your hand and let it drop. It's just physics. This blade weighs nothing. All of that 2.76 ounces is in the handle. It's not in the blade. It is milled out a little bit in there, but not too bad. Um, they're not too much. Yeah, my only real complaints on it are uh, that the thumb studs are black. Really, that's it. <laughs> and if I'm complaining about that, that's... I'm grasping. You know, I mean, I just I just think this would look better with uh, without any of the black stuff. I think it'd be better to have some silver uh, hardware and thumb studs. I think it looks really good on the Damascus one, especially the Damascus Carbon or the one with the darkened blade. But I think on the two micarta ones, I'd just rather these were satin, you know, screws and thumb studs. Uh, but that's it. I still think it looks good. I don't think it looks bad. I just keep thinking it, it could look a little better. So, yeah, um, that's kind of it for the complaints. Excellent knife. 8330. I did not have it before knife of the year for 2020. So it's in the pool for 2021. Basically... Uh, I did my videos on like December 10th or 11th. So anything after that that I got goes in for 2021. If it was released, you know, around that time. I'm not going to go back to the beginning of the year or anything. But you know what I mean. Uh, so this will be in consideration. It's it's a it already right now. It's, it's, in, it's in with a shout for uh, under 100. Except for uh, there's a Sun Cut model. Which is coming up so also sometime later this week. And it's really freaking good. So you have to watch ahead uh, to see that. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. Go check this knife out again. It's still available lots of places. I've been Brian. Have a good one.